So we're here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm actually smiling so big. I'm really excited. We're in Diagon Alley. We're gonna eat our way through the park, as one does. So we're gonna go for 30 iconic Harry Potter items in the course of a day. I got pumpkin juice on my pants. Should be a magical time. What should she eat when she's there? She eats food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm excited. <laughs> so I'm not about to eat my way through this place without a wand. We're starting at Alamander's. The wand anxiety is real. Just seeing a lot of Hermione, a lot of Harry happening. They're not my vibe. I was going to like seven times for Halloween over the course of like 10 years of that. That probably checks out. We should probably go with Luna. Luna, the wand is chosen very well. How's that feel, my dear? I love it. Right? Luna wand. And it has that map, shows you where your smells are, okay? Amazing, I'll get right on that. Yeah. Oh, we're the Leaky Cauldron. Of course. Where else were we gonna start this day? That's that's the food. Oh my god. Oh, I'm embarrassed. This is embarrassing. <laughs> How many people would you say this is meant to feed? That one's for four. This one's for four. Yes. So six, really, probably. Yeah. That's normal and fine. I know no other way than to be destructive with my food. Wow. It tastes like a really ketchupy relish. Into that. Love myself some cornichons. I eat those straight all the time. This is a scotch egg. I've never actually had one before. We've got some like mustard sauce happening here. So scotch egg, to my understanding, is a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage. Pork sausage specifically here. Breaded and deep fried, which again, normal breakfast. Oh, I f***ing love that. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Blue cheese. This is bangers and mash. Pretty self-explanatory. Looks exactly how I was hoping it would look. That said, there's broccoli on this plate. But there's not enough magic in the wizarding world of Harry Potter to make me eat that broccoli. I'm not touching it. Tastes like shepherd's pie in a bread bowl. So on a normal day, when I wasn't being the way I'm being right now, I probably wouldn't come here for breakfast. Would come to the Leaky Cauldron for like any other meal of the day. the way it's meant to be. I'm here for a lot of ice cream. Oh my god! It's like butterscotchy and marshmallowy. I would crush this whole cone if I didn't have to eat the four other flavors. If you don't like sour cream, it's maybe not something I would eat. I actually love sour cream, so I could probably put this whole thing down. You could put that on like a taco or some nachos and you'd be fine. Okay, so we just went from sour to like sweet and spicy. Oh. oh god, okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't actually think this was going to be like a little kick at the end. You can see right in the back of the throat. Oh my god, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of chili in there. <laughs> I would stick my hands in and play with this stuff like Play-Doh. I'm serious. That's wonderful. I would take it a lot more Earl Grey than I do get lavender. I'm here. I get it. Last but not least, oh my god. So I feel like this is like deceiving looking because you wouldn't know to look at it that there's peanut butter, but there is peanut butter and there is strawberry and it is really good. I'm not gonna say I would sandwich it in bread and eat it, but I'm not not gonna say that I would sandwich it in bread and eat it. So we're at Weasley's, we're here to eat all, which means we're gonna try maybe the scariest things we're trying today. Starting with puking pasties. They're hard. There's like a little give, but they're hard. They look radioactive. Are they a hard candy? It's a hard candy. That's why they're so hard. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Tasted like Melanie. It sounded like like Melanie. I don't, I don't know any Melanies. Melanie. Is that like some kind of red hot thing in there? I don't even know. Oh, cool. I've eaten so many spicy things today. Sounds like a vanilla fudge with some kind of like red hot or cinnamon jelly bean. Would eat in my spare time, preferably on a less hot day. That's rich, creamy, a little bit of crunch. All the things best candies have. And finally, fainting fancies. Oh, I love gummies. Maybe orange? 
orange lemon. Sweet, fun. I think if you are a family and you want to try a whole bunch of stuff, you go to Weasley's, you get this sky bang, skipping snack box. after eating my way through the wizarding world of Harry Potter. <laughs> because again the buttercream goes so far in but there is chocolate cake happening there like a plus icing to cake ratio here I feel like every day when I came home from elementary school and I like wanted a sack like this is what I wanted to eat just have to try every single butterbeer thing it's the next iteration of that is fudge but look at this gorgeous dual layer fudge I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before got like a foamy top and a butter beery bottom. The barometer of a good fudge is if you taste it and you feel like you're at the Jersey Shore in August. I do, confirmed, that's great. Pumpkin pasty, just like this sweet little calzone of joy. Anything that looks or feels like a calzone, I'm very into. But you get like a lot of cinnamon off it right off the bat. Like Thanksgiving at Hogwarts, if that were a thing. Ooh, it's not just pumpkin-y, it's like a little apple-y too. I don't know if that's something I'm making up, but I'm tasting apples. Ah, look at their heads, look at the eel heads. I'm told you're like not actually drinking butterbeer if you don't like go for the mustache moment. I haven't had this one in a decade and it tastes exactly the same way I remember it, which is really just magical, making me the tiniest bit emotional. And this has got a crazy amount of sugar on the rim. Whoa. Very generous with the sugar. But it's like a cinnamony sugar, which I've never had to drink before. Breakfast of magical champions. I don't quite know what to expect. I feel like it could be anything. This pretty wide straw feels like an indicator of boba, maybe. Maybe grape boba? It also tastes melony. Oh my god, melony again. I'm so sorry, all melonies watching ever. Because I'm not sloshing at all. Everything is fine. Oh my god, I love that. Is this my favorite thing I had all day? It's like peachy and gingery, which is so nice compared to like the cinnamon and sugar I just like inhaled. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this one. Cute little pumpkin up top. <laughs> it almost tastes peachy, but also very pumpkin-y. I just feel like I'm drinking Thanksgiving all the time when I'm here. <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. I'm in King's Cross Station. Things I never thought I'd hear myself say. We're about to get on the Hogwarts Express and make our way toward Hogsmeade to continue eating. Because why not? See ya. <laughs> size of an actual frog, but like, oh, here's my hand, here's the frog. Should name him probably now. 
You're gonna eat him. I'm gonna eat him. You're right. Let's let's not get too attached here. I got Salazar Slytherin. I don't know if I've mentioned to this point that I am like ride or die Slytherin. I'm so sorry, bud. I loved you while it lasted. He's milk chocolate. And I love him. I am vaguely afraid of what might happen. I keep asking people and they're like, only one way to find out. That's not scary at all. That's delicious. Oh my God. I wasn't even paying attention. It's in the back of my mouth. It's exploding a little bit in a very pleasant way. It tastes like a creamsicle. A fizzy, ooh, a fizzy creamsicle in my molars. Love that. So I feel in my heart and soul this can't be anything other than blueberry. Blueberry. Okay, 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 this looks disgusting. I don't know what that is. Probably snot. I had that once 10 years ago and never wanted to eat it again. Now here I am, you're making me do it. It's like if grass and cilantro had a baby. I can't eat that. Oh, I really don't want to eat that. I mean, it looks like it could be like, like that bangers and mash I had this morning. Today. Oh, that's not so bad. I'll change my mind. It's not the worst. Okay. Thank you. Do you think that I'm the bravest person you ever met? Yes. I think so too. Shepherd's Pie is honestly one of my faves. I don't know a greater combination there is in this entire world than like mashed potato, meat, and like unoffensive vegetables. Pretty straightforward, we squeeze some lemon all over, just because, you know, a little citrus, never hurt anyone. Look at these like half moon potatoes. I wish I would come home from work and my husband would make these for me. I really would argue that only the bravest women in the world eat ribs on camera, so that's me. I just have all sorts of stuff dripping all over me. Super saucy. It's got a lot of meat on it. I'm not struggling to get to meat. Chicken, we need more protein. While we're here, there's so many people looking at me. Skin on, always a fun thing. Also a little heat to it that I wouldn't have thought, but I guess it is like super seasoned. You can see that when you look at it. Um, this butter beer potted cream. Actually the most excited for because I've been such a fan of every butter beer thing I've put in my mouth today. Oh, it tastes like if you put um, fluff on top of the Swiss Miss butterscotch pudding. <laughs> I'm ready for alcohol, honestly. Just poured me a delightful hogshead brew, which is a red lager. Gus. He looks like a Gus to me. I've been eating that for many hours. Moving on from that red lager to some fire whiskey. I figured what better to chase it with than pumpkin juice. That said, I'm gonna be able to take one sip of this. I'm probably done. It smells like super cinnamony, like cinnamon to the face in a really nice way. I'm scared. <coughs> no. Oh, it's a very nice chaser. I was right, it's spicy. Very warm on the way down. That's a good time. Party at Hogshead. Okay, I said I was gonna cry before, but now we're actually about to go see the castle. We might do that. Frozen butterbeer time. We've had plenty of other miscellaneous butterbeer items, but this is the culmination of it all in front of the castle. Oh my god, that's the coldest thing I've had all day and I love it. Is Frozen my fave? Or am I swayed by the beauty of the castle behind me? I don't quite know. Um, it's been many hours. I've eaten my way through the wizarding world of Harry Potter. I very much feel like I've earned my stripes as a Slytherin. I'm exhausted. But fulfilled. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a nap somewhere. Maybe in the castle, I don't know. I got pumpkin juice on my pants. 